Okay, so some of you were quite eager to have Android 12 on your OnePlus devices. And while I'm trying my best to make videos on the latest betas of various custom rooms, the next device in line is the OnePlus Nord, which will have to wait for a long time, at least till 2022 mid, to get the next Oxygen OS 12 update. And that will not bring big changes as we have seen so far with the Pixel devices. Anyways, so now we have the Android 12 based Pixel Extended Room in the beta version which well as you know isn't totally baked but whatever is provided surely works like a charm on this device and gives it a new life yet again. That is why I always recommend those devices that at least have some scope of rooms or are having a good development right now so that in future not everyone will sell their device and can have a good experience. Anyways before we get into all that please make sure to tap on that subscribe button and press that bell icon if you haven't already. It's free and will keep you updated with all the latest videos from the channel. By the way, just in case you want to watch this video in Hindi as well, here is a card to the BitTech Hindi channel and you can find all of these videos in Hindi language over there. Now first up, this is a beta version only, so please don't expect any OT updates on this one. Other than that, there are no issues with this room. Let me start off with the benchmark scores first. So on Geekbench, the device scores as high as 595 in single core and 1806 in the multi-core score, which is decent. On a similar note in the Android 2, the device scores 3,90,000 points, which is quite alright for a beta. Though you should never rely on these scores for like the performance benchmark, as there are more things to it than high scores. Now starting off with the UI and launcher that we get here, and as expected we have the pixel launcher here, that looks clean and minimal, and works very well too, as on 90Hz the animations look dope and clean with no lags or status in the UI. And this is the experience we all deserve. The always on display is also refreshed as a part of material view as you know by now and it looks really nice on this display. Though it does drain somewhat more battery and I simply love this lock screen and AOD transition. So it looks more refined and overall I dig this smooth UI. And yes, the in-display fingerprint scanner also works like 9 out of 10 times with decent speed and accuracy. But there is no face unlock as of now, so do keep that in mind. You obviously get the material you theming everywhere with the new themed icons and all that looks good, though not all the applications follow this theming till now. We can also see the universal search bar in the app drawer where you can search for your charts, contacts and more. And it is indeed quite useful. Let's jump into the settings now and you can see the material you theming in action here as well and things like the new pocket mode among other stuff. In settings we have this snow house area which is still half baked but we do have a bunch of customizations for now like the OG Oxygen OS Volti icon and some vibration options and for the rest well you should wait patiently for now. Apart from that we do have the gaming mode from pixel phones that has an inbuilt FPS counter so you can keep a track of those BGMI frames which is handy and the gamer in you will appreciate this of course. The BGMI performance has also been good so far for the most part and in some cases even better than Oxygen OS 11. So the maximum settings here are smooth and extreme as expected and the gameplay was quite alright. Though of course it is a beta only and you can expect it to have hiccups. But it did better than I expected. Apart from that there are no major concerns as the device has been doing well for the most part in day to day scenarios and there are no major bugs that will stop you from using this one. So if you really want to try Android 12 on the OG Nord along with some basic customizations and that material U goodness, this is a good place to start with as it does look quite smooth in usage and will give you most of the basic features working. And that is a good start for now I think. Also if you compare it with other devices, you still have some better rooms for now. Anyways, now let's see how you can install this one on your OnePlus Nord. So the process to install it is really easy as I made this special zip file for you guys. And you just have to single click and it will install it on your device. First up, you need an unlocked bootloader to install it and also back up your data if you haven't done it till now. So here is a card to that video to make things easy for you. So after that, you just have to download the zip files from the link in description area. And after that, just right click and extract these zip files. So wait for a couple of minutes and once this step is done, it's now time to connect your device in fast boot mode with your PC. So to do that, just turn off the device and just long press volume up 
down and power key at the same time for like 4 to 5 seconds till you see the fast boot mode screen on your device. Now your device is ready to be flashed with the ROM. So we just open the ROM folder we downloaded in the first place and double click on this ROM installer.bat file. Now it will ask if you want to install this ROM or not. So just type Y and hit the enter button. Now it will start installing the ROM on your device. You just have to sit back and relax till the process gets completed. Make sure you give it some time. So after that you will see this installation done on your screen. After this you can disconnect your device and just select this format data option on your screen. So this will format your internal storage and once it's done, you are all set. Now click on this reboot to system option and you are done. So your device will reboot to Android 12 on this pixel extended room. And I hope that was simple enough and if you have any doubts, I'll drop a link to the telegram community in the description area and you can get your issues resolved over there. So this was a short way to flash Android 12 based pixel extended ROM on your OnePlus Nord. And if you end up liking this video, make sure you press that like button and tap on that subscribe button for more videos like this one in future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.